Welcome back, Rabbit Crew. Today, we got a new deck for you to look at. This is the Intellion Blastoise VMAX deck. We got two Blastoise here. VMAX has got the Grand Falls. He's going to use the energy to then uh, power onto our Intellion VMAX. Uh, you'll take note, both of them like to do damage to bench Pokemon, so we can use that to our advantage. Um, we are doing the Frost Moth combo with uh, some Frost Moth action, but we're only going 2 and 2 here. You'll notice there's a lot of 2 and 2s. 2 and 2 here, there's 2 here, 2 and 2 here. This one's 3 and 3, because this one's a little bit easier to power up than Blastoise. Uh, we got one f Phony. Fion, I, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name, but yeah, he's essentially our, our switch, but on our opponent's side, so then hypothetically we can get their creatures that have been taking damage on the bench up front and then knock them out. We got uh, uh, 3, 3, 3, 4, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, all in the ways of... We got some buckets to get energy. We got evolution incense. This is a three of because obviously we want to be finding the evolution of these guys. Communications. That's going to be helping to find our crowbats or maybe a VMAX that we need. We got quick balls to find our crowbats or any sort of basic if we have the VMAX in hand and we need the basic to start it up. We got switches for positioning. We got bird keepers for more positioning. We got bosses orders to pull up something that's been taking damage. We got some Marnies to shuffle up our hand and disrupt our opponent's hand a little bit. And we got Nissa. Uh, she's just here to pretty much just bring, because I mean, we're dumping a lot of energy onto a creature. So usually what will happen is, you know, one of our Pokemon will get knocked out and we'll be able to grab it and up to three water energy and just keep on going and then we got some professors research only two of because i don't like pitching my my cards i like to use my cards but i mean if there's 37 cards in your deck and what you have in your hand isn't so hot that's a great card for it um telescopic sight uh this is just because both uh yeah Teleon and blastoise like to hit things on the bench and so this is like a no-brainer and then we got 14 waters. Um, 14, I know it seems like a lot of energy, but this guy really likes to see a lot of energy. So, yeah, enough said. Let's uh, get a couple games in, shall we? Intelli Blast! It, okay, good. I just want to make sure that was highlighted. All right. Intelliblast! Intelliblast, boys! Let's do some Intel Blast. Um, sure. Not a heart start. That's a terrible start. <laughs> That's a terrible start. Uh, I don't know why, but I see these sleeves, I see this box, and I'm thinking Mad Party. Once again, not such a hot start. That is not ideal. <sighs> Alright, well, at very least they don't have a hot start either, so we got that going for us. Um, Let's see here. We'll go quick ball away a water. Yeah, let's quick ball away a water. And let's grab. We only got one. So we prized one crowbat. I needed to see that real quick, anyways. We got what? One blast. So we've also prized one Blastoise. Um, I think we start here. 
No. We're gonna grab this guy. And then we're going to... Oh, that's, that's, that's the play. All right, so we're gonna go communication, put this guy back in. We're gonna grab, do I grab a frost moth? Yeah, let's do that so we can get our, our, our water pumping going. We'll do this. They're like, you have a good deck. It's like, thanks. You have no clue or idea what I'm even doing, but thanks. All right, so we're going to do that. And then let's go quick ball. And I don't want to get rid of the evolution incense, but I need the Marnie and I need the switch. So we'll do that. And then we'll go for this. <clears throat> and we're gonna switch them out. Then we'll do Crobat. Go yes. Neat. Put Intelli on there. Put that there. And we'll put an energy here. Why not? And say done. And then what we'll do is we'll evolution incense. Given that we don't get Marnied, we're going to evolution incense into Frost Moth. Um, and then Marnie. What are they playing? What are they up to? Pidgey. Okay. No, mind you, this deck does still get beat down on from people using GXs and all that stuff that's going to be rotating out. It was because this deck was built around the idea that this is for the next meta. Like, I'm not using any cards... I don't know about this one. It's the only one I'm kind of like, I don't know. Pretty sure it says 2020. This could be one that's rotating out. If so, I just broke my own rule. Oops. But still, one card. Oh, is this... I think this is that deck that uses uh, Snorlax. Yeah, and they use Cheryl, and it's, it's like a big old tanky ball. Tanky ball. Um... Yeah, we're going to go Evolution, Frost Moth. And then here. And then we're going to Marnie them. Okay. We're going to put out a Blastoise. And then, let's see here, we can go this, into that, grab this Inteleon. And then put this here. Uh, put a energy here. We have another Marnie locked and loaded. Um, and let's try to make it a little bit awkward for them just to be drawing cards nonstop. And say done. There it is. Three forty. Plus what? So it's 390. Oof. That's so much damage. <laughs> I'm about to do a lot of damage. They got a lot of Pidgeys, though. A lot of Pidgeys. Oddly enough, no energy. 
and they have a full bench, so I don't know what they're looking for. Yeah, this is the Snorlax deck. Interesting choice with the whole, um, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna Marnium. Hooray! And put this here. I'll say done. And we already have the second Frost Moth locked in. So that's good. Yeah, and they're just gonna go airmail, airmail, probably switch out and get a knockout. Well, no, they can't go for a knockout. They don't have... Well, that's hyper relevant to me. Tee hee hee. Tee hee 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 hee. <laughs> Uh, please do. Let's get some energy going. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, so I'm going to do that. We're going to get our second Inteleon out there. We're going to Professor. Yeah. Doing it to it. Icy Dance. Onto the Blastoise. Do the switch. Max Bullet. And we're gonna shoot. What's this thing's life? Oh, it's 60! Oh. We're shooting those. Shooting them! He shoots! He scores! It's good! I'm just gonna obliterate their entire bench. <laughs> like, that's what I'm- that's- that's the new game plan. We're just gonna obliterate the entire bench. they are like, I got a Snorlax. Yeah, cool. I don't know why you put the damage there. I would have gone for this guy. He's the easier kill. Oh boy. And they're just loading up their bench with all these things that I can kill. Like, I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about Snorlax. It's kind of in that position now where it's like, I don't care what cards are in my hand. The engine's pretty much all there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, brah. <laughs> Do it. Oh, this is dirty. When Marnie fails you and helps out your opponent. Alright, let's do that. Get those. Uh, put that here. Icy Dance. We'll load him up. Okay. Do we have anything in here? We have one, one water energy. Not worth it. All right, so let's go max bullet. And we're gonna shoot uh, this one. Shoot -a! Shoot -a! All these targets just ripe for killing. Oh, I got a snommy snom. <clears throat> Do 
Yep. Scoop up. That one? Oh, okay, another Pidgey. Oh, why with all the Pidgeys? I don't get it. What's what's the dealio with all the Pidgeys? Uh, we'll go Blastoise. Put that there. Uh, Max Bullet. Shoot the Snom. Alright. Grab another prize. Alright, it was bad enough with Blastoise, but... Yeah. This deck is brutal. I'm really starting to like this. It took some work. Um... I have a, I, I did a video earlier on this morning where I was building this thing and I went through the process of like, what happens when you have a really dumb idea that might be good? And the dumb idea being like, everyone knows Blastoise deck is good, everyone knows that Inteleon's a really good deck, but what happens if you, you know, combine the two? And yeah, this is kind of the end result. Oh, you love to see it. Let's do this. Get two more. Thin out the deck some more. Go Frostmoth, Icy Dance. Right there. This there. And we'll do... Uh, I'm just going to say done, because I don't know where my energy really needs to go after that. I haven't seen any crushing hammers, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's shoot this one. You just keep up loading, on, loading up their board with things I can kill. It's like, okay, I don't have to worry about killing this. I have to kill what's on your board. Like, cool. Okay. <laughs> They're like, if we're gonna kill him here, have it up front and center. <laughs> oh. oh. We got 14 cards left in the deck. Grave looking uh, pretty chill. Okay. That's cool. Well, your big guy is going to fight my big guy. Uh, let's hit... Let's hit that one. And this one. So now they do not want to hit with this. Yep, Cheryl. I'm gonna use a triple energy. Yep. But it's not enough. Dun 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 dun. This one and that one and done. So this is a really good demonstration of the deck. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Um, I'm still pretty new in the uh, Pokemon TCG community. This is like my, I don't know, like third or fourth month. But by no means am I somebody that has like, this is the 20th anniversary box and look at all these shiny cards from XY series and 
I have two boxes of base sets sitting in my bunker. Like, <laughs> I am, I am not that guy at all. But um, as always, be good to each other out there. Um, and yeah, thank you again for supporting the channel and watching. Um, yeah, this is Nerd Rabbit signing out.